this video tutorial is a companion to the previous uh, video on centroids. Um, in the last tutorial I showed you how to convert a polygon to, or how to extract a centroid from a polygon. In this one I'm going to show you how to extract actual coordinates from that geometry type. And I'll show you the difference between the geometry a geometry type and a the latitude and longitude. They are not interchangeable. So first let's look at the table. We have the column that we created in the previous video and as you can see we have um, what looks like latitude and longitude points um, and they reflect on the map. Uh, but we can see that it's a, a geometry type. So that's that's a very specific distinction between um, the latitude and longitude and just the geometry. So they are different and as we can see if we wanted to export this data share it with somebody else. Look at this. The geometry column gives us all this nonsense. So what is that? Well that's a geometry type that Cardo takes and it reads um, and that's what it uses to visualize data on the map but we can make sense of that um, so we need to do something to this geometry to make it more legible in terms of something that we do understand which is latitude and longitude we have a function and you can see if you start typing ST you get a list of available uh, functions in PostGIS we're going to use a function called STY STY and we're going to pass the newly created centroid which in turn gets the geom passed into it. Don't forget to close the parentheses. And we're going to have longitude. We're going to do a very similar thing for latitude, this time using STX. Again we pass the newly created centroid close the parentheses as latitude. So everything else is the same. And now let's take a look at the data. So we have a we have two new columns that we just created, one called lo lan longitude, <laughs> sorry, and one called latitude. And these look more legible, right? We still have the geometry column, but as you can see, up at the top you have um, two different types now. Number for the latitude and longitude columns, and the, the geom column is still a geometry type. So they might look the same, but they are in fact different. So now let's take a look at an export. If we wanted to share this with somebody who doesn't use GIS data daily, we want it to be something more legible. There we have it. Now we have longitude and latitude and we still have the geom column there. Um, but, but these numbers are actually numbers that we can use. So that's it.